Hey everybody, this is Smidge McCain. Today we're gonna go fishing with my good pal Smokey. Hey Smokey, what's up, boy? Excuse me, did you just assume my pronouns based on my outward appearance? Yeah. Well, I'll have you know that I am not a man. I am a blumpkin, and my preferred pronouns are flirp, blabble, and retard. Yeah, whatever, boy. You wanna fish or what? Okay. Oh, take your worm. <sighs> Dangle your worm around in front of that filthy little, filthy little fish slot in their big mouth. <laughs> their smooth back sides and their little watertight bee hole. Yeah, they do have pretty tight bee holes. I mean, I, I don't get why you're gonna have a watertight butthole and big old gills and a big open mouth all the time. That, 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 that don't make no sense. I used to have a watertight butthole. Used to? <laughs> but then I met Tyrone. Now when my mommy gives me bubble baths, she calls me her little Cocoa Puff because I turn the water brown. You, you take bubble baths with your mama? Well, <laughs> Dad and I don't fit in the tub together anymore, so he just sits on the toilet and watches. Yeah. Yeah. So you like fishing? I like anything that has to do with torturing small animals. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, you need to get the hell out of my house. Is it okay if I go to the bathroom first? Uh, yeah, yeah, go down the hall and turn right. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? I'm gonna go down the hall and turn right! That's okay, I'm done. Oh, what the hell? What did you just shit in your panties? No, I did not shit in my panties. I shat in my diaper. You... You, you don't shat in your diaper. <sighs> Why don't you just go use the toilet like a man? Are you out of your mind? Duty is a precious gift. You don't just flush it down the toilet. Just waste it. Think of all those hundreds of times in your life you've dutied. Didn't even look at it. Just flushed it. Threw it away. God did not gift a man with the ability to duty. Just so you could throw it out. No. You gotta look at it. Smell it. Experience it. Love it. Wear it! Wear it? Do you know what a pasty is? Look, you really need to get out of my house. Do you want to see my pasties? Although, I call them brownies. You need to get the hell out of my house! Alright, goodbye. Get, get out of my house. Put goodbye. Get up. If you're going to grab me, at least take your clothes okay, off goodbye. first. <gasps> well, hey everybody! It's your good old pal, Smidge McCain, and today, we're going to be playing Crazy Tactic with my good friend, Rip Bong Returns. Hey, Griffon, get over here, boy. <laughs> boy, we can't hear you. Get closer. Okay. Alright, he's in the doorway. He's walking over. He's about six inches from me. Hey, I just got to pick you up. Oh, thank you. Woo! Now, should I drive or do you want to drive, Griffon Returns? Oh, gosh, that controller's pretty big. I don't, I don't know if I can fit with my little hands. Well, look, how about I just play? No, wait, wait. Flip it over, and I'll put my feet on the triggers like a real car's pedals. Well, you know, Grip Bomb, when you drive a real car, you only use one of your feet on the pedals. Ain't you ever driven a car before? Well, uh, no. Usually when my mom drives me down to the baby gap to get underoos and baby shoes, I sit in the back in my special seat that faces out the back window. Whoa! Whoa, whoa. What are you screaming at, boy? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I had a skittle before I left the house, and I got a little... A little bit extra energy! Oh! <laughs> I'm a little jittery, maybe you should play. Yeah, I'll just keep playing, that's okay. How you been doing, baby? Oh, I've been having a pretty rough time. Oh, what's the matter? Is it because of all them Muslims coming up in their country and rubbing their big sandy dicks in your face and making you smell it? No, I actually, I like that. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh the problem is, the chipmunk I was best friends with got ran over by a tricycle the other day. Oh, oh that, that's too bad. Yeah, I really gotta be more careful when I'm driving my trike. Oh, oh, okay. I'm just. Uh, <sighs> Boy, why are you yawning? This game boring you. This uh, is not fun and exciting. No, I'm just. Uh, blood sugar's a little low. You gotta. You got anything I can eat? Uh, let me check my pocket. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, let me uncle in there. Hey, oh, get out of my pocket. Oh, oh, get out. Whoa, whoa, okay, do that. Oh, oh wait, stop. Oh, my God. stop. You had one peanut MM. Whoa. Hey, that's my peanut m, m Get off my peanut m, m you little motherfucker! I'm eating it! You can't stop me! Oh, my belly is hurt! 
Cheers! Boy, I told you not to eat my peanut M&M. You can't eat all that. You look like you're pregnant with cried Drew giblets. What the fuck is wrong with you, you little thief? Oh, I feel the chocolate surging through my brain! All seven inches of my endocrine system are on fire! Oh, grab me the game! Give me the controller! I'm gonna punch you! I'm gonna do it! me! You know what? You know what? You won't bite me! Oh, 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 oh. oh god! I done killed him! Oh. It's okay, everybody. This was, this is just a big joke. He wasn't really here. This is a joke. I didn't really kill him. Scoop me into a thimble and take me to an ambulance. You shut up! Oh! Oh! This is not real! Oh god! Well, hey, everybody. It's your good old pal Smidge McKing. And today, we're going to play whatever the fuck this game is with my good buddy Brianna Wu. Hey, Brianna, why don't you say hello to all the beautiful little Smidge heads? Hello, you disgusting shit lords. Before you check your privilege, why don't you check out this wonderful game? What do you even like about this game? I mean, you play as a man in his underpants, flying around, grabbing marbles, and jamming them up the buttholes of squids. Is this a video game or an elaborate simulation on how the Japanese people reproduce? I do not understand. Why do you even like this game? You know, I'm not entirely sure. Mainly, there's just something about the main character that I identify with. You, uh, you identify with an asexual clown who haunts the dreams of children? Yes. I mean, wait a second. Are you harassing me? Nah, man, we just joking around. No, you're harassing me. This is... Hey, yo, dude, chill. This is more of that Gamergate stuff. Nah. I'm gonna get my husband Frank to beat you up. Hey, just calm down, fella. Frank, get in here now. Ah, uh, god damn it. You went to Mushu Park? No, I don't want any goddamn Mushu Park. You want me to do laundry? You know goddamn well Thursday's laundry day. You want number one sucky fucky five with Dara? No, I don't. Well, later, number one sucky fucky five Dara. But for now, beat up this man. Well, you better calm down there, Frankie boy. For my most honorable husband, do I put. Ichiban number one egg roll in your butthole. Oh hell no, you ain't putting no egg roll in my butthole. You better back up off me. You might know the kung fu, but I know the gung do. Oh, what are you gung do? I'm gonna do this. Ah, ah, oh. oh my god, my tiny chiny husband. Oh my goodness. Usually when I take a fisting like that, it's in my poo poo hole. You damn straight. Hey, right, look, let's all just calm down. Let's play the game. It's a wonderful game. It's a beautiful game. No, this is a no game. You insulted my husband, Jan. Brianna. Hey, look, man, I'm sorry. In the most important ring, you design on my butthole ring. Excuse me? I make an egg roll in my butthole. I offer you my butthole egg roll as a peace offering you. And you take that precious offering you, and you poo poo on it. Well, now, hey, you're the one who poo pooed on it. It's a figure of speech. Now I have no choice to do but to commit the poo poo. All right, man, the bathroom's down the hall to the right. No, you idiot. He said Sudoku. It's the fine Chinese art of killing yourself. Now, Frank, go ahead, kill yourself. Frank, don't kill yourself. You have so much to live for. Oh, really? Are you ever given number one sucky fucky five dollar to that abomination or You may be surprised to hear this, Frank, but the answer to that question is HELL NO! Please let me die. He makes me pray revolution in 60 and tell him he's a good. He's a no good! Yeah, I could have told you that. Um, excuse me, is it or is it not time for a Chinese man to kill himself for my enjoyment and pleasure? Hey, that's fucked up. No, you listen to me, mister. After this is over, I'm gonna tell everyone you harassed me, and if my husband doesn't kill himself, it won't look nearly as bad. At the very least, I'm gonna point out what a homophobic and racist jerk you are. Uh, I think people can understand the difference between satire, homophobia, and racism. You underestimate how stupid people are. Houston, people actually bought the revolution of 60 Oh, that's it! What's it? I know how to kill myself! Oh no, don't do it! I'm a player of Revolution of 60 dude. at the speed of right! Yes, Frank! Dance for me, monkey! Dance the dance of death! No, Frank, don't do it! Oh, 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 the terrible! Oh, it's is horrible! It's gonna end the sooner! I hope it will run up! Oh my god! His head done imploded. That tends to happen to people who play my game. Oh well, just grab another one of them off the boat, they come in every day! Yeah. Look, you need to get the hell out of my house. Well, hey now, hold on. Maybe you don't want to play the game anymore, but, uh... 
I still got this here five dollars. Oh hell no! Get out of my! <laughs> Take it, you little slut! No! 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 Yes! Suck my feminine penis! <laughs> Hey everybody, it's a good old pal empty hero, and today we's gonna play Space Underpants Dance Party with a very special guest. Some of you might recognize her from her work on the beloved video series Feminist Frequency. Some of you might recognize her from back when she used to sell timeshares out of her van that she also lived in. But most of you, myself included, probably know her as that one gypsy who can read a palm by sitting on it. But enough of this hubba blue. Let's bring in this lovable Jew, Anita Sarkeesian. Come on down. No, this game is sexist, and I refuse to play it. Who could possibly be sexist about Space Channel Five? You play the strong, empowered woman who, without being all masculine and getting all in people's faces, but rather through the feminine powers of rhythm and dance and showing me tasteful glimpses of her underpants. Saves the universe for everybody! What's that to like about that? Well, one, it's you, a filthy cisgendered male, telling her what to do, making her dance uncontrollably against her will, just like what happens to me whenever I hear an ABBA song. Have you ever thought, maybe she doesn't want to dance? Maybe she wants to stay at home popping the blackheads on her cartoonishly big nose and pretending not to hear the phone ring when the IRS calls to find out what you did with the money from Feminist Frequency because I obviously didn't spend it on the videos. And oh my god. Oh my god, I smoke so much crack! And everyone can just tell by looking at me that I've been flicking my bean all day and <laughs> snorting that white china! Oh god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Um, yeah, I wanted to play some video games. I really don't know what you're going on about right now. I just hold on a goddamn sec. Oh, yo, who the fuck is it? Let me in. Oh, I can smell it. Let me in. All right, come in, man. What the? What the fuck? Hey. <laughs> I heard you were having a snow day, so I brought my skis, and we can <laughs> do a little bit of rails on my skis, if you know what I mean. <laughs> oh shit, Adam Thetha, what the fuck are you doing here? God damn it, Adam, you can't have my crack. <laughs> oh, Johnny, have your crack. I've had, oh, I've had the crack, the cheeks, and the hole. Johnny? What the fuck is he talking about, Anita? <laughs> You haven't told him yet, Eddie? <laughs> Come on, Johnny. Show the boy your plums. Oh, shit, you got plums? I love plums. They're full of vitamin C and they're delicious. No, I don't want people to know about my plums. Come on, Anita. <laughs> Drop those one-size-fits-all skinny jeans. And let Uncle Sessler take a good old, good old snifferoonie of those sugar-coated plums. Oh, dude, what the fuck is he talking about? Fine, I admit it. <laughs> there is no Anita Sarkeesian. Wait, what the fuck are you talking about? Everybody thinks that John McIntosh writes things down, and all I do is read it. Wait, some other guy writes it down for you? Let me take down my pants, and you'll understand. Oh, shit, okay, let's see that pussy. <laughs> is that what you think? Oh, what the fuck? You got balls. That's right. There is no Anita Sarkeesian. It's me, John McIntosh. Um, I, I, John McIntosh, uh, why do you have balls but no penis? I can't help it. My teachers in college said I'd never be a real feminist until I snipped off all of these horrific one and a half inches of peni that were dragging me down to the earth and making me a masculine pig. I literally have no cack, save for the one I store in my butt! Oh! <laughs> Look, uh, if you do not mind, I'm just gonna do a little of my own supply while you work things out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Hey, can I have some of that? Now get your own! <laughs> oh, wait. Oh, season up. Call the doctor. Tell my underage Indonesian bride that I love him. 
Yeah. Yeah, you both need to get the fuck on out of my house. Now listen, the world needs to know. I am John McIntosh, and no one cared about me when I was just me. But when I put on the flannel shirt, and the big hoop earrings, and the gigantic, disgustingly huge fake nose. I mean, seriously, who would have believed a nose that huge and disgusting and disproportionate could have been real? They listened to me. They thought I was a woman, and that my opinions were valid. Yeah, well, you ain't a woman, and, uh, frankly, I was only putting up with your ugly ass, thinking that maybe I could, like, I wouldn't put my penis in your vagina, because obviously you don't have one, and I wasn't gonna put my penis in your mouth out of fear that you might lean forward and burst my stomach like a grape with your gigantic nose. I was thinking I could at least slip my dick behind the back of your kneecap, kind of press your cankle to your inadequate buttock cheeks, and just do my own thing while you were distracted by the game. And now that I know that you're a man, and that Adam Sessler is dead and spilled all the cocaine, you need to just get the fuck on out my house. Goodbye! Well hey everybody, it's your good old pal Empty Hero, and today we're going to be playing Battle Bomb with my wonderful associate Randy Pitchford. Oh Randy, you're looking happy today. Oh, you even brought yourself a guitar. That's right. I figured that you would be so enamored by this wonderful game Battleborn that you wouldn't have much time to talk, so I'm thinking I might play a little accompaniment. After all, people will only watch this video for about 7 seconds before feeling the overwhelming urge to purchase a copy of Battleborn. Purchase it? I thought this game was free. No, 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 no. Let me play a little song about that. All right. It's not free. Battleborn is not free. Yeah, okay, I think you I get it. gotta pay. Yeah, all right, Randy, let's move on. For Battleborn. Okay. Battleborn. Shut the fuck up, Randy. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, um, could you not do that ever again for the remainder of the existence of the universe? Ah, sorry, I got a little overexcited there. I mean, Battleborn is just such a wonderful game. I I can hardly focus on this conversation. I just, I just want to run out and buy it right now. Yeah, that makes one of us, Randy. Um, hey, could you tell me why I'm playing as a black lesbian elf, a blizz elf? Oh, I, I have a song for that too. Y you ready? Do I have a choice? No. God damn it. No one likes a filthy bigot. No one likes a fucking bigot. I'd rather put my dick in a bigot than in a bigot. You fucking bigot. Fuck you. You know, I can't help but think that maybe that song was directed towards me just now, Randy. Oh, well, let me clarify with another song. Hey, you really don't need to do that. God damn it. Fuck you! That's the whole song? I'm still working on it. Now why are you still talking to me and not buying the full version of Battleborn? Well, probably cause this game is fucking ass, Randy. Why is everything pink and purple and blue and looks like a kid done fucked a watercolor painting and then smeared his dick on his ass and then shat some poop out of his ass and then rolled around in it and then you don't walk by and say, Mmm, I quite enjoy that. Let's make a game that looks just like that. In fact, give me that, give me that guitar. Now it's mine. Give me that guitar, boy. I'm gonna play you a song, Randy. You wanna hear my song? Yeah, you wanna hear my song? No, I just want people to buy Battleborn so my fat wife will stop beating me with her large orthopedic shoes. Well, too bad, boy. Here comes the song. Randy Pitchford, you heard me. Why is your game? So fucking shitty. Randy Pitch, can't you see? Your wife is fat, your game's 
Shit! She once would sup upon like so many bon bons shall go free at last, free at last, God Almighty, free at last to caper and cavort in the fields, not to be dipped in chocolate by my fat ursine wife, and dined upon like so many supplicant drops of dew dripping from a lily down into her mouth as if the very gravity of the universe was drawing the living beings inward towards her tum tum. Ah! Um, okay.